Hello, welcome to the Mad Butter channel. My name's Chris. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use Luminar Neo presets, and then how to import and export them. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you a set of five black and white presets I've created, which you can download for free. I don't do these videos to make money, but for the fun of it and to try and help other people. So I won't be ever charging money for any assets I create for you. So here we are in Luminar. And as you probably know, there are three pages, catalog, which is where all your photos are shown, presets and edit. If we go into edit, then obviously you can use all the tools here to make changes, but we're concerned with presets. Now in the presets page, we've got all these presets here, which come bundled with Luminar. There's a section here for purchased presets, and I've bought this free, or rather I got this free set of presets from Jim Nix's website. And there's also a section, my presets but at the moment we haven't created any, so it doesn't show. And for any given photo, the software suggests presets that might be used on the particular photo in question. This is arrived at using the software's AI. So it's very easy to apply a preset. You click on a group and then you just click on it and it'll make the necessary changes important thing to say about applying a preset is that it will remove any other editing you've done on the photo. So any edits in the edit panel will be removed and if you have more than one layer all layers other than the background layer will be removed as well. So a preset is the first thing you should do if you're going to use them. But you then can go into the edit panel. So here Let's apply long exposure. If we go into the edit panel and go into edits, these are the changes that have been made by the preset. And you can go in and adjust them as you need fit, or you can go in and make any other adjustments you want. So they, they're a good starting point if you want to make your editing quicker and easier. So how do you create a preset of your own? Well, all you have to do is to go into a file and edit it. So for instance, on this one, let's convert it to black and white. Then we'll go into develop, into the curves and make it rather more punchy. Like that. Maybe a little bit of enhance AI. I enhance that doesn't really do very much. Crunch up some of the details, a bit of sharpening, and there we are. So that's what we started with, and that's what we've reached so far with only a few adjustments. Now, if you wanted to save this as a preset, then all you have to do is to go down to the actions, save as a preset. It'll come up with the default name, my preset, and we'll call this crunchy black and white. It'd help if I could spell crunchy, of course. And there we are. So we've created the file, uh, the preset. And let's go and revert this to the original. Go back to the catalogue and we'll choose this file, take it into presets. And now you'll see that the My Presets section has appeared. Click on that and apply the crunchy black and white. So that's how you create a preset and then you can apply it to other images. So what else can we do with these presets? Well, of course, you can always revert the image to original, which will remove the preset. And on the preset itself, if you press on these three dots, you get four options. One will de delete the preset from your system. 
you can obviously rename the preset. If you click on edit, it'll take you into the edit panel and to the edits which were made. These are the edits which make up the preset and then you can obviously um, adjust as you see fit. And you'll go back to presets. And the final option is show in Explorer. And this will open an Explorer window, presumably a Finder window on a Mac, and show you the folder where the preset is. So if we expand all this, the window so here we are the we're in the use C users we can see the path and under the path shown here it's quite a long one I'll put a reference to it in the comments below this is the folder it has a suffix of dot LNP luminar neo preset and inside it's a template file and an icon showing the effect applied to the image. So therein lies the secret to exporting a preset that you've made. There's no specific button in the software to enable you to do that automatically. So you have to either go on this and show show in Explorer or if you know where to look in the, the operating system you can get to this .lmp folder and all you've got to do is copy it. Uh, you could send it to a friend, do whatever you want with it. You can copy it to another computer, but you have to load it into the this same folder. So that's how you export a preset that you've made. It's a bit messy, but that's where we are. I should add for the sake of completeness that sometimes you see advertising and you can buy packs or collections of presets. And when you do that, they'll appear in the purchase section as with this Jim Nix collection. Now, why, when you buy one of those, what you actually get is not a series of folders, but a .lnpc file. So here in my downloads folder, this is the file I got from the Jim Nix website, and it will be similar for other professional collections. All you have to do is double click on this file and it will load the um, presets into Luminar for you automatically. I should also add that there are alternative ways to get purchased collection presets into the software. One is to go into the purchase section of the presets and click on add and navigate to that file. The other is to go into Luminar Neo file add Luminar Neo preset, collect, preset collection again find the LNPC file. Now I should say that both the presets that come with Luminar and any professional collection presets you buy will be stored in a different place, not in the CU to C users section, but in the Luminar Neo program file. So here's Luminar Neo under program files. Mine happens to be on the E drive. Normally it will be on the C drive for a Windows machine. <laughs> and under preset packs, you get collections and you get marketplace. The collections are what come with the program and the marketplace are the ones that you buy. So if I double click on this, you'll get a whole series of folders of random letters and numbers. But if you double click on them, then inside that you get a series of LMP folders and these are the individual presets. This is all really for just, just for information. Um, if you're buying collections, just double click on the file and they'll go into Luminar Neo automatically. If you're getting importing presets from friends, individual presets from friends, etc., you just need to move the LNP file into the C users section, as I've pointed out before. So now to the presets. If we click on my presets, you'll see there are five black and white presets here. The first one creates a contrasty sort of silvery black and white look. The second produces a sepia look. 
The third is a very high key, low contrast look. The fourth is the opposite, a very contrasty look. And the fifth is just a sort of a glow look, dreamy as I've called it. Now, if you think any of these presets are over the top or just too strong, there used to be an opacity slider for presets whereby you could reduce the effect. That has gone in recent updates to Luminar Neo. Now you could, could of course, in theory, go into the edit panel, go into edit and you'll see all the things that have made up the preset. You could go in and reduce the effects of each of these, but it'd be very difficult to do it in proportion. But I have done a video showing how to recreate the effects of the preset opacity slider. The link is showing in the screen now. If you click on that, you'll see how to do that. Now, in order to get these presets, just click on the link in the description below. And when you do so, you'll end up with a folder called Free Black and White Neo Presets. And all you need to do is open that and you'll see the five presets with the .lmp suffix. And you just need to copy them into the C users directory that I've referred to before under Luminar Neo users folder. And then they'll be available for you to use as you wish. Anyway, that's a run through all these various aspects of Neo presets. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, perhaps you, you would consider giving the video a like and possibly even subscribing to the channel, which, be which would be much appreciated. Many thanks.